Hey guys, welcome to another trigonometry lesson. Uh, today we're going to extend our trigonometry knowledge a little bit uh, from dealing with only right angle triangles to now dealing with all different types of triangles regardless of whether they're right angled or obtuse angled or acute angled or whatever so let's just draw a right angle triangle that does not have a right angle in there so let's say all of these trying all of these angles are not right angles actually let me make them a bit straighter so i'm gonna label the angles A, B and C in capitals and I'm gonna label the sides which are opposite to these angles as little a, little b and little c. So you can see that the uh, sides are labeled with small case letters opposite the angles that correspond to the same letter but in uppercase. So once we have done that, uh, then I want to develop a rule that relates each of these sides to its opposite angle using trigonometry. So as you know, um, the Sokotoa trigonometric ratios only work with right angle triangles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a vertical line down the top to bottom of this triangle that is the perpendicular height of this triangle which I'm gonna label H once I have done that then you can see that I have split up this triangle into two right angle triangles so we have a right angle triangle here and we also have another right angle triangle here so let's deal with the right angle triangle on the right um, so I have the right angle triangle on the right which is Hang on, let's just draw it separately. So we have a right angle here, we have H here, and we have B here, and we have angle C here. So this angle here, we're going to call angle C. Now, if you remember the sign rule in the uh, trigonometry, Sokatoa, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so substituting in everything we know we can now rewrite this as sine c is equal to h over b because the h is the opposite and b is the hypotenuse so remember this equation, which we're going to use later on. Okay, now let's look at the triangle on the left, which is this triangle here, here. this right angle triangle here. And we have a right angle triangle, and we have an angle here called B, and the opposite side is H and the hypotenuse side is C. So using the same theorem sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. H is the opposite, C is the hypotenuse. So we have sine B, capital B equals little h over little c. Now we can see that both of these equations have the symbol H. Both of these equations, they have the symbol H. 
So I'm going to rearrange both equations to make h the subject. So using simple algebra, h is equal to sine c times b. And here h equals sine b times c. And uh, since this h is equal to this h, since they all belong to the same triangle, sine c times b is therefore equal to sine b times c. Right, since this h is equal to that h. And now we can rearrange it to... Uh, I'm going to move the little b and the big b together on the same side. So I'm going to move the sine b to the other side, which makes it little b divided by sine b. Right, because I'm moving this to the other side, which is now uh, making it divided by sine b and I'm moving this to the other side which makes it divided by sine c on the bottom and here is our sine rule so our sine rule pretty much says in a triangle where we have the three angles labeled as A, B, and C capitals and the three opposite sides as little a, little b, little c. The sine rule states that little a over sine of angle A equals little b over sine angle B equals c over sine big C. So that is the proof of the sine rule. And so you might say, well, how do we use that rule? Well, let's give you a very simple sine rule question. Let's say that in this triangle here, I know that this angle is 80 degrees. And I know that this length here is 12 centimeters. Now, if this angle here is 20 degrees, how long is length x? So what we're going to do is label the sides and the angles. So this angle, I'm going to call it A, this angle B, this angle C. So I have little a, little b, little c. Now you might ask, well, what if I call this angle B and this angle C? It doesn't matter as long as you have a b c and its opposite sides as little a little b little b little c it doesn't matter uh, how you label it there are only three sides and three angles so for example you could have labeled it like this um, as long as you label the opposite sides according to how you label the angles it'll still work the same way so according to this um, diagram we can now substitute with numbers we have into the rule so little a is 12 so we have 12 over and big A is 80 so sine 80 equals little b is x and big B is 20 so we can simply rearrange this equation now to find x by moving the sine 20 to the other side so times sine 20 over sine 80 so putting that in the calculator so make sure your calculator says degrees because we're now right now working with degrees 12 times sine 20 uh, divided by sine 80 equals 4.16 so x is equal to 4.16 centimeters uh, another possible 
question is by giving you uh, two opposite sides and asking you to find the angle. So for example, let's say this angle, this side is 13 uh, and this side is 14. If this angle was 80, how big is this angle? I'm going to call it Y. So substituting these in the formula, I have 14 over sine Y equals 13 over sine 80. Right, so rearranging this, I'm uh, going to take the reciprocal of both sides, which means I'm going to raise both sides to the power of negative 1 which will turn both sides upside down so sine y equal over 14 equals sine 80 over 13 and then I'm gonna multiply y on both multiply by 14 on both sides so I have sine 80 times 14 over 13 equals sine y I am now going to move I'm going to uh, take the reciprocal function on the other side the so y equals inverse sine bracket sine 80 times 14 over 13 and putting that in the calculator so uh, clear it inverse sine bracket sine 80 times 14 divided by 13 oh sine 80 times 40 hang on a sec so I figured out the problem uh, it's actually impossible to create this triangle here where we have one side is 14 and the other side is 13 so I'm gonna uh, I'm going to rewrite this side here as 20 centimeters and uh, just change all the 13 to 20 sorry about this and putting that in the calculator so uh, where is my calculator putting that in the calculator I have arc sine which is the same as inverse sine and inside the bracket sine 80 times 14 divided by 20 I have 43.57 and that is the angle inside this triangle here okay thanks for watching guys see you next time